So I'm filming today's episode on Easter Monday, which is the celebration of Jesus rising. Not exactly sure why people are shocked by this development. The man literally told his 12 best friends on Thursday night that he was made of bread. Bread rises. It's science. Anyway, I just finished my Easter lunch leftovers. I had some cold ham and cheese on a loaf of Jesus. And now I need dessert, so enter Little Debbie. Little Debbie and I have what I would call a uh, contentious relationship. I never feasted on the fruit of her loins until quite literally my ultimate pumpkin Pumpkin Spice episode last September. And it uh, turns out that I don't like Little Debbie, or at least her pumpkin spice products. I can't speak specifically to Deborah. Uh, we've never met. Look, I'm Canadian and the snack cake market gold standard is Vachon. Vachon cakes? Next level. You have a single Joe Louis and you're never ever going back to a Swiss roll. But I suppose it's entirely possible it was just a case of trying the wrong products from her lineup. So let's give her another shot with this year's collection of Easter treats. I'm gonna start today with these Easter basket cakes, which look to me like your standard vanilla cake fare, but uh, oh, hey, there's a puzzle on the back. Looks like this silly chicken wants to help the Easter bunny paint eggs. Can you help the chicken solve this crossword puzzle? Little Debbie, let me answer with a riddle of my own. Let's see if you can decipher my code. Fuck no. So these are what I assume to be the usual vanilla cakes from Little Debbie, uh, but tailored for the Easter season. Pastel sprinkled colors, you, you know the drill. I actually reviewed their Valentine's Day doppelgangers in an unseen episode. Um, in fact, you're never gonna see it because I failed to hit record. Yep, this is the exact same cake I had on Valentine's Day. Yeah, this thing is drier than Prohibition. And the dryness is my number one knock against most of uh, Deborah's products. I know that snack cake makers can make a moist cake. I, I don't know what her problem is. This is D tier, which, uh, Hey, spoiler alert, it's exactly the same rating I gave it on Valentine's Day. Super exciting, uh, here's the chocolate version of uh, literally the exact same cake. Look at that, it's the same artwork on both boxes. It's not even a different picture that's been taken, it, they just tinted it differently. They didn't even change the crossword. There's there's no educational value here, which is like 90% uh, of the reason to buy a Little Debbie snack cake. That looks familiar. That's so dry that you could use this for a secret antiperspirant ad. She's Little Debbie. She's strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Now that would be progressive marketing. Uh, the chocolate kicks it up just a notch from the vanilla, so uh, let, let's roll this all the way to a C tier, and uh, then we'll just roll away from these snacks. Something tells me that these are just their regular brownies with a new coat of paint on them. I tried their pumpkin brownies, maybe? and I seem to remember not loving them. Uh, it's been a while, but just looking at this, I'm not getting warm and fuzzy memories from Brownie's past. And then look at the picture on the back. How in God's name is that supposed to make me want to eat this? Like our brownies are baked with 100% potting soil. It's got nice artwork, but it's so thin. Like aren't brownies supposed to be tall and fluffy? This is neither of those. Oh, that's bad. It's super dense. Not like Ben Roethlisberger dense. It, it's not that stupid. I, actually, I take that back. This is every bit as stupid as Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, look, I get that some people prefer uh, the fudgier brownie than others, I guess, but the chocolate simply isn't amped up enough flavor-wise to command that kind of a label. F tier, this has gotta be the worst thing on the Little Debbie menu, at least amongst things that I've tried so far. Next year, I personally recommend that if Debbie's looking to give anything up for Lent, uh, she start with baking. All right, friends, this is our last hope. If this is good, it stands to be the biggest miracle on Easter since uh, daylight savings time took effect all the way back in 1918. Actually, daylight savings time wasn't a miracle at all. It's the reason I haven't slept comfortably in a month. And nothing good has ever happened on Easter. Oh, wait, I guess that one thing. All right, back in the box. No games being played here, just straight facts. On Little Debbie, I've got a snack for you. So it basically looks like one of their vanilla cakes, but it's shaped like a 1950s interpretation of a flying saucer. Okay. This is actually really good. It's almost like, um, 
like a Viva Puff or a Whippet, uh, both of which are Canadian and mean absolutely nothing to my American viewers. It's a marshmallow on top of a cookie, which given their inability to make a moist cake is actually a huge upgrade. Honestly, if they'd succeeded in dehydrating that marshmallow, I'd be questioning a whole lot of stuff right now. Uh, th this is A tier all the way, and I'd even buy this again. And I know that my son is gonna put the ground and pound on this. So conclusions, little Debbie, uh, mostly bad, but Sometimes she's good, so avoid it unless there's marshmallows. And uh, I think that's it for today's lesson. Hit subscribe to uh, learn uh, other stuff. <laughs>